Okay, so we just uh, coded up these pop-up pop menu buttons. So the, in this video, I want to do the radio button and the exit button because these are pretty quick. So if you look at my other radio button video, you know what I'm doing here. Uh, but essentially, I want to compare the value to the maximum value. The maximum value of the radio button is going to be 1. So if I want to get, uh, I want to get the H object value, that's what it's currently set as, and I want to compare it to the uh, H object max value. So if the radio button is selected, then we want to say that the radio show camber is equal to 1. So that means that we do want to show the camber. Otherwise, or else, the radio show camber is equal to 0. And, and then we just want to assign uh, this value in to the base workspace to update it. Radio show camber, radio show camber, like that. Okay. And then the exit button, I want to code this up. So the first thing I want to do is clear the command line. So I'm just going to CLC. I want to clear the variables, variables. And so I want to eval in the base workspace. I'm going to clear everything. So I'm just going to clear them all. And then I'd like to delete the figure. And if I open this up, you can see if I double click on the background here, go to tag and you'll see it's figure one so in here under delete figure I just want to uh, say delete handles dot figure one like that now we can run it and the radio button is initially set to zero so radio show camber is zero if I hit it it's one if I deselect it again it's zero if I exit it deletes all this clears the command window and we're ready to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do the actual plotting the airfoil push button. Uh, so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.